Good afternoon. Thank you once more. We will continue with our matrices and matrix transformation. And we want to look at an example on uh, real life situations or in an exam situation, you may be given a matrix. For example, triangle ABC has vertices A as 1, 4, B as 1, 1, and C as 3, 1. Part A, find the coordinates of triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. The image of triangle ABC under transformation R, whose, uh, which is a negative quarter term about the origin and plot it. Part B, show on the diagram the image of A prime, B prime, C prime, uh, uh, the, image, the image A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime of triangle A prime, B prime under reflection on the line y is equals to x. So in our previous lesson, we have learned on how we can get these various matrices. Now, first of all, we identify the matrix. Let us look at part A, the matrix that represents a negative quarter term about the origin. So the matrix that represents a negative quarter term about the origin, we had learned it here. And it is this matrix here that we are getting here. The matrix of rotation about 90 degrees, about negative 90 degrees about the origin. That is the, the, the matrix that represents negative quarter term about the origin and plot it. Now we write the matrix of transformation. And remember, the matrix of transformation pre multiplies the coordinates of the image. And many a times we have seen candidates. Uh, um, misplacing the matrix, they post multiply. When they post multiply, the matrix, uh, uh, the matrix of transformation. When we post multiply the matrix of transformation like these two, you may find that the matrices are incompatible, and therefore there is no possible solution for that particular matrix. Therefore, the matrix of transformation must always pre multiply. The, matter, the coordinates to get the image. Now when we multiply, we had learned about the multiplication of matrices. In multiplying the matrices, uh, we multiply row by column. So let us, we want to obtain the image of A prime. A prime will have uh, A prime here, that is, uh, that is uh, A prime is given, but how do we obtain A prime? So it is 1 times 0 uh, plus 1 times 4 and that gives us 4 so that is 4 then we move to 1 times negative 1 which is negative 1 then 0 times 4 which is 0 therefore that is negative uh, 1 then we go to b to obtain b prime to obtain this b prime we follow this order row by column Row 1, column 2. Row 2, column 2. Then let us multiply. 0 times uh, zero times 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, and therefore we have 1 there. Then we'll have 1 times negative 1 is giving us negative 1. Plus 0 times 1 giving us 0. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. We move to C. The coordinate of C prime is 1, negative 3. How do we obtain it? Row multiplying the coordinate of C by the matrix of transformation. That is 3 times 0, which is 0. Then we have 1 times 1, which is 1. Therefore, 1 plus 0 is 1. We have it there. Then we also multiply 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. Then 1 times 0 is uh, 0, 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3 that we have here. Therefore, we'll have the coordinates of A prime, B prime, and C prime written in column form here. So that is a negative, uh, that is 4 negative 1, 1 negative 1, and 1 negative 3 as the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime written 
in column form. Uh, now, part B, show on the diagram the image of A prime, B prime, and C prime of triangle A, B, C under reflection on the line Y is equals to X. On the line Y is equals to X. Then we look at our matrix of transformation that we already we have, we have gotten. Reflection uh, on the line Y is equals to X. We go, uh, we go back to our previous work and using a unit square, you will realize that the matrix that represent a reflection on the line Y is equals to X is given as 0, 1, 1, 0. That is the matrix that represents. We have used our unit square in finding that matrix. So therefore, we have to now rewrite and I'm saying the matrix of transformation pre multiplies the coordinates uh, of the object to be transformed to an image. So therefore, we'll have uh, 0 times 4 is 0. Uh, that plus negative 1 times 1 is giving us 1. So 0 plus negative 1 gives us negative 1. Then we'll also have 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. That is negative 1. Then we'll also have 1 times 0 is 0. Then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Therefore, we'll have negative 3. Then we'll also have this one. That is 4 times that is 4. This is 0. We'll have that is 4. That is 4 plus 0 is 4. Then here we'll have uh, 1 plus 0 because this is 1. That is 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1 gives us 1. Then we'll also have uh, 1 times 1 which is 1. Then plus negative 3 times 0 which is 0. So therefore the solution is 1. So therefore the coordinate of A double prime, B double prime and C double prime written in column form is negative 1, 4, 4, negative 1, 4, negative 1, 1 and negative 3, 1 as the coordinate. Now we have identified the coordinates. The remaining bit is now we are going to plot uh, these coordinates on a Cartesian plane and see the various images uh, that are formed by this particular trans the two transformation that we have looked at. That is the reflection in the line y is equals to x and negative quarter turn about the origin. We start with our object, the image was here. A, A is here, that is 4, that is 1, 4, then B is 1, 1, C is 3, uh, 1, as we had seen uh, earlier. Then we also have, uh, when we rotate it, then we found that the coordinates were A, A prime, that was 4, negative 1, B prime was 1, negative 1, and C prime was 1, negative 3. Join these points. When you join the points, you have the image of B, uh, A prime, B prime, and C prime, which is the image of triangle A, B, C, uh, which is the image of triangle A, B, C, under negative quarter turn about the origin, or a rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. The second, now we transform this particular uh, image. Now the image, the second one is now the image becomes the object to the second transformation. This is our first transformation. Then this is now the second transformation. Now when two transformations follows each other, one after the other, then such transformations are said to be successive transformations. So the image, uh, this image and this image here are two successive transformations. Now, we want to see how we obtain this. How did we obtain this? We used a matrix and the matrix was 
a matrix of uh, those are matrix of reflection in the line y is equals to x a uh, matrix of reflection in the line y is equals to x and when we multiplied with that matrix we found that our a double prime was negative 1 4 b double prime was negative 1 1 and c double prime was negative uh, 3 uh, 1 joining this we are going to come up with the image a double prime b double prime and c double prime after that uh, rotation has taken uh, after that reflection has taken place of course now by using what by using a matrix by using a matrix otherwise thank you in our next class we are going to learn about how do we obtain a single matrix of transformation from two successive uh, transformations thank you and have a nice day